Hi and welcome to Sales Management System Developed Using Excel VBA. Let me show you guys how it works. Check that out and you can enter a value in there. Okay, let's keep going. Right there. And now click on total and print our receipts click on reset there we go you can then repeat exactly the same thing for the next customer right and supposing you mistakenly leave out any of them just click on reset the system still works okay so what I'm going to do now is I'll take you guys straight into Excel VBA development environment and we put one of these together. So let's do that now guys. Hi and welcome to Excel VBA of how to create sales management system. If you don't have this developer tab, all you need to do is to go to file. Click on file and select options. Once this dialog box pops up go to customize ribbon and right there you should be able to see this developer menu here just make sure it's checked and then click on ok you can now come straight to the developer menu there click on it and select visual basic or as you can see you can select alt f11 right here now click then this development environment opens up select insert use a form now we have our form select the properties right inside the properties let's go straight to the size okay I'm gonna make the height let's go for 700 and the width I'm gonna make that 1030 there we go the next thing I want to do is come in here, make sure we select the form. The properties pops up, or the toolbox I mean pops up. Let's select frame, new frame. We'll drag a new frame right there. Okay, I have a new frame. Now, you see all of these labels. I'm going to get rid of them because I need it to be. A checkbox so let's get a checkbox there one here two three four and five we have a lot of checkbox in place the other thing is I'm going to need a frame so let's grab this very frame instead of new frame there's a frame there's new frame drop drop that in there I'm going to close this for for the time being so that is another lesson learned with this new frame I've never used it before I'm using it for the first time so let's come right down here and I'm going to need a label I need a label here so place the label right there then I need four of these so let's just copy that across and we need this as well click copy and drag there we go right that's fine and this very one this very label there let's change the properties of that very label to women so where we have caption I'm going to enter women there and I also need to increase the size but first thing first let's change the border the border style or the yep the back back color and now change the font color to something lighter let's see yeah that's fine and the font size as well let's change that to right maybe 30 36 I think that might be a little bit too big. Let's make it 
okay and get it centered so that's for women's outfit there I'm gonna get it centered now let's come in here and get that centered right that is fine okay and right at the top yeah that's where I should have the women stuff we don't have to copy it anyway all right so let's copy all of this and just move it down a little bit okay grab the women control click copy and change these to men so all kids and we come to kids outfit right there we go that is fine let's change the back color of this very one to exact color of this and we come in here to pull them let's see the code for it that's the code let's copy that code come in and just paste that code in here right and copy this very one hold on the control bring it here let's change the the caption to sales management system right and change the font size let's make that a little bit bigger okay I'm just going to modify the look of the interface then I'll get back to you guys shortly okay the first part of it is completed so what I'm going to do now is copy all of this and just paste it out here that will be for the second part right there and we we'll end up changing the details we have in here as well so let's call that jumpers and cardigan right as jumpers and cardigans Let's see if we can see the rest all right so we're gonna have to do something about that let me just reduce the font size let's make that about 18 or 19 font let's change that to 19 so it's not so obvious right okay the next one here that's going to be jacket and let's call the jacket and blazer jacket and blazers okay guys I guess you get the whole idea so I'm gonna speed this up now I'll get back to you shortly okay all that is left for us now is to let's change this let's enter home wear there and up here we're going to change that to men's wear or just men's that's it all right that's much better so I'm gonna copy this or maybe just grab one here let's come straight to the tools let's see if we have enough room anyway there seems not to be enough room but let's make do with what we've got so grab one of these and just draw it that much let's bring it up here somewhere maybe copy and paste right I have two of those there 
get rid of the content we have in here. Let's get rid of that and select the second one. Get rid of that too. Now, okay, guys. The next thing I like to do is let me add some buttons here. Let's come underneath here. Just add those buttons from there. Just for now, three of those. We might probably need more buttons. Okay, let's come. Oh, maybe we should save this file. Let's save it. Okay. Save the project. And I'm going to save it as. Let's come right in there. Make sure where you have save type, you select Excel macro enable workbook. Now let's browse to where I intend to save my program. I think I'm gonna have it somewhere. Right, save it right in there, and I already have a folder for it. There we go. That's my folder. So that's where I'm gonna save my work. And I'm gonna save it as sales. management system and just click on save there and that's it my project is saved and right inside our project let's go back in here click on this all right and right inside the project file here that's my project file oh that's the name of the file right in here I have images those images I'm going to be using them so one thing I have to do is to let's say I want this very one they are all in a JPG file make sure they are all JPG okay right so let's say I intend to you copy that uh, image I need to know the directory so right click and select the properties of whatever image you intend to use and here we have the directories let's see if there's any other thing that we can get okay we have the directory of that image here just copy it there we go and let's copy that other one you need it you're gonna need it all right but one other thing is I'm also going to need a picture, yeah, an image. Let's just paste that image in there. I want it right in here. So the whole idea is if I select anything that's meant to be shoes that I've just clicked on, let's see. I need boots there. So men's boots right here. Yeah, men's boots. Okay, so let's give that a name. So right in the properties, I'm going to name that as let's say CHK CHK men's boots. Right. So they will all have a name, and the text that is opposite it. So that one is going to be. This very text will be txt txt men's boots as well right and here I have my image there let's correct that so I just do that right there have my image there so maybe I should call it I M I M A or just call it picture or something like that picture or image picture right 
img picture all right that's fine so right here i'm going to double click on this so what i'll say is img page dot picture right there equals we have a uh, there is an event called load picture I believe load and open a bracket so it's going to be this I believe that is the name of the method if it doesn't work we we'll try another one then slash the name of the first object uh, image is boots I think there's an X in there dot j p g and i think that will be all let's see i'm going to try that out and see if it works okay so let's run it and just see click here and select that yeah it's working that's fine i like that that's good but we need enough room so i'm going to repeat the same thing for the rest of the checkbox okay so we need more room here and we have to make it look much better though okay so just copy that I'm gonna copy that and use it for the others now back onto my property here All right okay this next one let's double click on that and paste that in there that's supposed to be former shirt let's see the name of that very image former shirt there we go i think that's it right click copy that very image the name copy it you must get it right else there will be an error paste that in there and let's run that as well if i click on this yes there we go Oh, that that is fine okay what about my logo for the form load so double click on that on the form itself right, inside the form I need maybe initialize or form activate form initialize let's try that out and I'm gonna paste copy this and just chain that around I need my logo let's get the name of my logo I can be the call that copy come right in here change that to I can be and let's run it and see there we go my big icon is there but I need to ch to add more space or reduce the size of the icon okay that's fine so guys with that i'm going to call it the end of the first part of this tutorial and i'll see you guys shortly